him take gate ones to finish his qualifying. Might just be the right place, right time. Here we go, heat number 18. Tapes are up, Bewley's made it. He hits the front, Lambert's alongside him. Here we go, around that first corner. Becker's on the outside. Certainly Frick's lifting, Becker coming through into third place. Bewley hits the front, here comes Robert Lambert pushing up the inside. Becker's come around the outside. Lambert's having to respond, slams the door shut. Let Becker having to elect to go back to the inside. Bewley now under a lot of pressure from Robert Lambert, but the inside gate has worked again for him. Yeah, and this is putting Max Frick under pressure now because these two would have two race wins on eight points, so that would take them ahead of Max Frick. Robert Lambert's got a lot of speed. Isn't he? Robert, Robert Lambert's quicker than Bewley. Robert Lambert coming on strong in second place. Bewley has to win the race, you believe. He's on five points, needs to win it, but Robert Lambert hunting him down in second place. This is a tight battle between the two British riders. Down the back straight for the final time. Lambert now. So Lambert round the outside. He's got lots of speed. Robert Lambert, what a smashing ride from him. Steals the win away from Dan Bewley. He's had an up and down night, he had an engine failure, then he had to change his bike, didn't score a point, wins his last two rides. Smashing ever from Robert Lambert. Dan Bewley must have felt he had every chance there. But Lambert denies it. Robert Lambert three points out in front, Dan Bewley back in second place, two points. Luke Becker picks up a point in third place and Max Frick misses out in heat number 18. Position now, Martin Vasek still out in front on 10 points. Robert Lambert moving on to nine. How he's turned his night around, brilliant. Bartos Smarfik with a race to come, Madsen the same. Jack Holder, back to Dudek there on eight, Frick on eight. It's awfully, awfully tight. Here we go again, Heat 18, stunning stuff. Yeah, all, all going on here. Dan Bewley done everything right, makes a great reaction, gets the bike to the first turn, gets around the inside, Robert Lambert giving chase. And well, it's heartbreak in the end for Dan Bewley because seven points, I don't believe is gonna be enough for him, but Robert Lambert all race long, looked like he had the extra speed, just couldn't make it count. And then he switched his allegiance to the outside. Actually, Dan Bewley got defensive, that was probably his mistake. He went around the inside, gave the room and the grip to Robert Lambert, and he took full advantage of that. Smashing ride from Robert Lambert, who's had a tough night, but uh, has come through in flying colours there, and uh, puts himself into the semi-final. Reaction tells you everything. Delighted with it, and to do it coming off the last corner like that.